All right, everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are once again working on the F-150. Um, today, I said this in my last video, uh, we do smell fuel underneath the passenger side of this, where our fuel pressure regulator is, fuel rail, injectors, all that are, and they are covered up by this part of the intake right here, so we can't really get a very good visual. So what we're going to be doing today is uh, we're going to be removing the upper intake. This is There's a two-piece intake on this thing. Uh, that's our lower right there that bolts to these two pieces bolt together and come apart so to get started what I've done so far is basically you're gonna want to remove there's one there's a black cover that normally goes here mine got busted up so I don't have it anymore so there's one two let's see if I can get you a, okay there's three and then there's another one right down there right there um once you remove those four bolts, this piece will come off. There's a gasket behind here. Um, you, Depending on how bad yours is, you may have to replace it. I did replace these already whenever I did my uh, initial intake removal where I did the PCV and all that. So all that's already been changed for me. There's also another gasket where these two pieces right here meet that you will have to replace. Oh, well, you don't have to replace them. If they're not in bad shape, you could probably put it back together. But um, basically, we're looking to check out these injectors. And now I've got a new set of injectors and a new FPR. Well, not new. They came off of a wreck. But um, the FPR, this, this is like a $120 piece right there. I don't know if it's bad or not. I'm going to put it on there, the one I got, and see if it makes a change. But um, anyways, so how do you remove this upper piece is pretty straightforward. There's a bunch of bolts. This right here bolts as well. I've already unbolted everything. So except for these two back here at the back. And there's two, I, I can't probably cannot get you a visual on those. Maybe you can see them right there. Anyway, there's one there, and then there's one all the way back there at the firewall. Um, but you have to get those from the bottom, from the wheel well, is the easiest way to get them with the uh, extension and the swivel and stuff. So, anyways, once you get all of the bolts removed, I actually missed one right here. Um, but once you get all those removed, this top piece will come out. The only other thing holding it on after this is removed and all those bolts are is going to be our EGR valve pipe. There are two ways of doing this. Okay, There you can remove these two bolts. There's one up here and one at the bottom. Then you have to bolt the EGR back on. Or you can remove this pipe right here, this fitting. Uh, if yours is rusted out real bad, that may not be a good idea. But that one, uh, that's probably going to be the way we're going to do this one. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started. I'm going to be removing all of these vacuum lines and stuff, getting them out of the way so that we can easily remove this intake without any trouble. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart Alright, so underneath the truck here Um First bolt is right there I don't know if you can see it very well And then the other one is right there on that very edge It's right there It's kind of hard to see, I know um, we're going to be removing them two, and those are the last two that hold this intake in. Uh, except for that one on the front I forgot to remove, but we'll go up there to do that. And after that, this whole intake should pull off. Or the whole upper intake. My bad. Okay, so, closing the dash up here. This is the fuel rail off of the F-150. Um, as you can see, there are some major rust areas. Um, for example, right here where the fuel pressure regulator will go up on. Lots of rust there. I really can't tell you if it's leaking. There's no surefire way to know. I do see rust inside of these holes. This is where your injectors go. Your injectors go here. Um, but I do have a new one of those. those little, that, that little piece right there. Um, well, not new. Like I said, it's not new. But it is one of those. And I think the one I have is actually four. This one's Bosch. Um, I, the one I have is actually, I believe, it's Ford. Um, no, it, it does not say, actually. But, uh, I have been keeping it dry, 
so that it does not rest between the glove box here. I also have a new set of injectors. I don't know if I want to stick them on or put the old ones back on, but I do. <laughs> I think I definitely want to replace this. Um, you can just look at how bad the rust is on this thing, and I mean, it's pretty caked up. And then I don't know if that's called for, you know, replacement or not, but I really can't say if it leaks or not. And it could be leaking right here. I mean, there's so much rust on this thing. It's hard to even tell. The back side of it actually looks okay. But this top side has got so much rust. And with it being a fuel component, I just don't know about it, you know. So I think I am going to be getting a one of those from my junkyard. Go ahead and put a new one of those on it. Not using that FPR, using the FPR I actually got. FPR means fuel pressure regulator. Uh, there's our intake laying there on the ground with our EGR valve. Uh, I'm not gonna be leaving that out in the weather either. I will be putting that up. But um, here's all of the, here's your little Milwaukee showcase. All my tools. Anyways, we got our some injectors laying here. Um, this is actually one from the truck I got the injectors from and these are the ones from my truck. Um, I don't know what the difference is. They'd have to have new O-rings. That's the main thing I know. Um, here is our, 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 my gasket actually is bad for this one, so I'm going to be going ahead and putting a new one on it. It was broke, so I don't want an intake leak because that's just another problem. Um, but, I mean, that's to be expected. I did run this thing for a while and then take it back apart. So, anyways, there are the lines coming from the um, pumps to here. So, and then I'm not really sure what that little piece is back there. I'm going to be trying to do some research on that and figure out what that is. And if it is replaceable, it may be a good chance to go ahead and replace it. But I'm going to be capping these lines and uh, taping up around those O-rings and all that. And actually, those O-rings look like they need to be replaced. But anyways, guys. So, yeah. So we're going to be capping those off, making sure that no moisture or anything is getting inside of there. And then, um, I think it's actually good. Where they where the injectors plug in is into like the side of the block right there. I don't think that's going to cause any major issues for us. For us. Um, so we're just going to be capping everything off. And, um, yeah, heading on our merry way to get parts. No. All right, guys. So uh, we got our fuel rail back together. I let it soak in vinegar for two days because, uh, well, wait. I say got our fuel rail back together. You guys haven't even seen this fuel rail yet. <laughs> so I went to the junkyard and got this one off of a wreck. I actually took the injectors and this piece from it a couple months back, or maybe not months, a couple weeks back. And this thing actually sat on the weather, so there was some rust inside of it. So we went ahead and let it soak in vinegar for two days to break up the rust, and we were able to wipe the rest of it out. Um, there's a little bit in these ends here, which wasn't there because I just took these in y'all. But I don't think it's nothing that's going to be of concern. Um, the one thing I I think I put these in my I went there with my friend, and I think I left these screws for this fuel pressure regulator in his back. So uh, I'm going to ask him tomorrow and see if I can get those. But yeah, so I can't even ask him till Monday. So yeah, I'm not even going to see him until Monday, and I'll have to get them then. So. Yeah, guys. With that being said, we're not gonna be able to install this in the day like I wanted to. It's gonna be to, it's gonna be next week. Uh -oh. What is it? So whenever my dad turned on the ignition, it sent fuel through it and it soaked the rag I had covering up these two lines coming in. Well, this one because this is the cinder. And that thing's soaked in fuel. Remember he turned on the ignition it primed? I was wondering because I got a really strong gassy smell when I got over here. Oh yeah, that's that. So now we know it's in the fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's, that's no problem, huh? That hadn't been the problem. It ran. It's just not running good. Anyways, guys, so uh, I'm gonna get those, get this thing bolted in, then we'll get everything put back together. Um the last thing that it could be, because this one is, well, this is the one I got for the other rail, but this little mounting plate right here is different. Um, there, this one has three screws, but the other one only had two. So I only could find one. I don't even know what to do with the other one. And watch them turn up. 
like Tuesday after I go get the other one. Um, Probably. So, anyways, guys, with all that being said, I want to thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's going to be kind of short, and I wanted to get, you know, it all put back together in this video. It's not going to happen because I'm missing pieces. So, but, yeah, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, guys, so we actually, this is a uh, different fuel rail than the one I had. I did not clean it up. In case you're wondering why it's so nice. I went to the junkyard and bought this one for $10. Um, we're going to see. I mean, it's shinier. That's the main reason why I got it. Um, but there was some rust on the inside of it from where I took the injectors off the old one a couple weeks back. And the FPR, the fuel pressure regulator. Because um, I thought that that's all I needed. Turns out this mounting plate was different. And the old fuel rail is like rusted and nasty anyway. So I went ahead and just got the rail. It was only $10. So... Anyways, guys, um, we got it all put back together. I actually couldn't find these screws like the longest time. So we actually just found two of them, and then we found one that would work for the third one. Anyways, so uh, we're going to go ahead, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to plug these in. Uh, this is our fuel and our retirement lines. And then we're going to hook up our vacuum here. And we're going to prime it and see if our injectors hold. If they drip fuel... That means that, that means that whichever one's drip fuel, those injectors are bad and I need to replace them. Luckily, I do have the set that came off the truck that this came off of, so we can test those as well. Um, anyways, guys, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up and see if it works. Alright guys, so we figured out what the problem was. We had an injector that was just constantly spewing fuel, which is why every time we would go to crank the truck, it would miss, and the back cylinder was just covered in fuel. Um, so we did have a bad injector. Another one is leaking. It, it, it was dripping, so it was bad as well. Not nowhere near as bad as the other one, but we did go ahead and replace two. Um, I think there's a problem with another one, but I really don't know for sure. Um, I thought about just replacing all of them, but then again at the same time they're kind of pricey if I wanted to win to buy new ones And I don't know how well the old ones work uh, None of the other ones leaked whenever we did our leak test. So hopefully the, all, the other four are good Maybe it was just a bad o-ring <laughs> Anyways guys with all that being said, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it I'm super happy that we're making progress for finding problems. We don't know if this is all the problems I think it is with the engine but we still have to look at our suspension. Uh, there's transmission problems that we have. So we still have stuff to address. Um, but other than that, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.